Hey there everybody, it's Purity Lunar here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a Nico tail. Now this Nico tail is special in general because it is uh, bento integrated. Now the Nico tail that I'm going to be reviewing today is the Sweet Thing Fluffy Nico tail, and you can already see right now that I'm kind of wearing it. Here, let me zoom in a little bit closer here. So as you can see, it is animated, and yes, we're at, oops, too close. <laughs> as you can see, we're at my home and farm. The, the house you see in the background is the farmhouse. Well, it's not really a farmhouse, it's actually my best friend's house, but it's at the farm where all you see the little farm animals and the kitties and everything. Um, but this is the tail. Um, the tail itself, it doesn't have like a color HUD or anything, but you can easily retint it yourself. Um, it has seven different faces on it, so you are able to um, make it into a gradient. Um, let me get on a pose stand here. Okay, now this is kind of the back of the Nico tail here. Um, like I said, it does have seven faces, so you can tint it in a gradient. Um, you can make it multicolored. Can make it a solid color, um, however you see fit. Um, the way I have it right now, it's just like a black and white gradient, similar to my hair color. Um, it's uh, let me show you the folder here. So this is the folder it comes in. Um, that it includes a uh, standalone animation override for the tail itself. Um, it also has a um, tail animation menu, so when you click on it, um, you're able to get different animation op options. Right now I have it on wag low, but as you can see sometimes it'll wag up high over by my shoulders and then it'll go down towards my legs. Um, you can make it wag from the middle. Okay. And you are able to also um, wrap it either around the left side of your body or the right side of your body. Here I have it on the left side. Um, as you can see it doesn't quite fit like all the way around my body, but they do this because they know that um, some people have wider hips. Um, now, I would say that the tail definitely is unisex, I wouldn't say it's just for girls at all. Now you can edit it to um, raise it on your body or whatever you would need to do. Um, you can also make it wrap around your waist so when you are sitting down it doesn't interfere with your sitting animation. So like if you have a tail like me, like you sit in a chair and your tail will stick through the chair and it looks kind of silly, but when you sit down you're able to make it so it stays in animation um, wrapped around your body. So that's what I really like about this tail. Um, so some of the other features, I won't go through all the animations, but um, I'll go back to my regular one here. As you can see it goes straight back to the animation. Okay. Some more options that I wanted to show you that it came with is it also comes with a static pose um, animation HUD. Now I haven't played around with it, so I'm going to open it up for you just to show you what it does. Um, also keep in mind that I have the tail AO, it's out of the shot, but this is the tail animation override. It looks the exact same as a regular animation HUD, but... Oh went back to the other side of the screen, but only it just operates your tail. It doesn't affect the AO that you currently wear for your body. Um, I'm using a bento animation override, um, but it, it doesn't affect that at all. It just affects the tail. Um, now for the static pose animation, you would use this if you um, take pictures and um, just whatever you want to use these animations for, so I'm going to go ahead and test this out for you. And I would guess that I would need to turn this animation overrider off. Okay, let's try this one. 
yes, it is definitely a static pose head. Sorry, little Pearl Paddington in the background. She's wanting some attention. She's like, what are you doing over here? And then you can put it over your shoulder. Around your chest. Yeah, they have several different animation override option. I mean, sorry, static pose option. Sorry, I'm very tired. Um, it's 2 a.m. and I'm filming this video. I should be in bed, but I'm not. Yeah, this is perfect if you are a picture taker like I am. And they also have links to their market marketplace, their group, Flickr page, Tumblr page, Facebook page, all that good stuff. Okay. Now for tinting, I'll show you a little bit um, about how to do that. So I'll just go ahead and right click and edit. So the way I do this is they have you go under select face and there's seven faces to it so when you select the tail you can click this arrow right here so um, I'm gonna go backwards here down to the darkest color so down at the base of my tail I have a dark like a pure black and then a little bit lighter a little bit lighter kind of thing so You'll be able to change that color, like, however you feel necessary. So see, I just changed it to pink. But I don't need pink just yet, so I'm gonna close out of there. But the color system is super easy. Oh yeah, there was one more thing that I wanted to show you. Um, they have good instructions. Um, they also have these things called a deformer. And this actually changes the length of your tail. So, right now I am wearing the small, um, if I wear the, let's say, I take this off, wear no deformer, it kind of shortens it a tiny bit, but if I wear the large one, it makes my tail much, much larger, as you can see. So you can change the size of your tail however you like without actually physically, um, changing the shape of it. So that's really nice. I love this tail to be honest. Um, normally I make my own tails and I was kind of skeptical to buy because I'm usually so used to making my own tails but I'm really glad that I got a bento compatible tail because I, um, I just got the bento hands and um, I don't have a bento head yet. Um, I don't really plan on getting one anytime soon because literally right, <laughs> like I had to say like maybe a week or two before Bento came out with their head at Katwa, I got my regular Katwa head so I'm not quite ready to give up on my regular Katwa yet, head yet so I'm totally okay with just the Bento hands. Oh my gosh, this kitty, she wants my attention and yes Pearl Paddington is a very very big kitty. Um, so I'm, if you're interested in taking a look at this chair, tail, not chair, why was I thinking chair? I obviously need to go to bed. Anyhow, if you're interested in looking at this tail, I'm going to provide you a link down in the description box. Um, from what I recall, the tail cost me 499 lindens, but, um, if I'm wrong, I will correct the price in the description box. I'm so, so sorry if I got that wrong. Um, but basically, I definitely recommend this tail to the Nikos out there or people that wear tails for any reason. So, yeah, um, make sure, also make, I forgot to mention, um, make sure you're wearing a Bento compatible viewer when you're using these products because um, you may dis be disappointed if you're not using a Bento compatible viewer. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my review and I hope you will stick around for the next video and please subscribe because I'm trying to come out with more content um, as much as possible but I need your guys' support. Okay, thank you so much.